everybody, I'm Dave Lewick, the Trapper Guy. I'm a nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area of Florida, and today the species I'm going to be talking about is the Southern Black Racer. Now, anybody who lives in this area hasn't gone very long without seeing one of these things. They're the most common snake in our area. A couple different reasons for that is one reason is they're extremely active and fast snakes, so they're all constantly moving around the yard looking for prey, uh, which is usually going to be things like lizards, um, sometimes small rodents, bugs, just about anything they can get their mouth on. Now another reason why they're so common is because they're so fast. Their biggest predator is humans and uh, people who are afraid of them or don't like snakes, the uh, snakes usually get the business end of a shovel or rake. These guys are fast and can outrun it so that's one of the reasons why you're gonna see more of these guys than other ones. And uh, also too, these guys here also on their diet is other snakes. So they'll eat other snakes um, and some of the smaller ones that are certainly smaller than them. Now black racers are a very aggressive snake. And by aggressive, I mean if you corner them or you grab them, they're gonna aggressively defend themselves and bite. And they can, uh, although it's not gonna be bad damage, they do draw blood. Generally though, you don't have to worry about these guys because if you see them on the outside, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna run away and run away fast. So best thing to do is just leave them alone. Don't try to uh, catch them, kill them. Just let them go on their way and they're gonna do some press control out in the yard so you don't have to call the trapper guy. Now it's March right now and I get a lot of black racer calls because it's breeding season and they breed uh, from spring to summer and uh, that's when you'll sometimes you'll just see a ton of black racers in your yard. I've actually caught up to six or seven in a backyard before. Um, because there'll be a female or some females around and it just draws all the males in and they'll do their breeding thing And it usually lasts for an hour or so and then they'll all dissipate and then uh, towards the end of the uh, or middle of the summer They'll lay their eggs uh, in late summer and fall um, And of course in Florida our weathers all that goes back and forth depending on when they're gonna do it um, The eggs will hatch and the babies you'll see and the babies are not black like this um, the baby's actually probably about four to six inches long and they're not black at all. They're actually brown with a pattern on them and they get mistaken a lot for some uh, corn or red rat snakes, uh, but not the reddish color. Um, and also most commonly they get mistaken for, I get calls for pygmy rattlesnakes and 90% of the time I come out, it's actually a baby black racer. So I don't have any uh, pictures of them right now or a video of a baby black racer. And I'm actually gonna do another video on that um, comparing the baby black racer to a pygmy rattlesnake. Now once these guys here get about a foot in length, they start losing that uh, pattern and they start becoming more uniformly black all along the top. And underneath them, uh, they have a white chin and then the rest of the underneath is kind of a grayish color right there. And they'll maintain this uh, black and same white under the chin, same color pattern up until the they can get around six foot. The biggest one I've seen is maybe five and a half, but that's about max. But this is probably the average size you see. Um, you'll see two to three footers is what you're gonna see mostly. Now, as I said, these things aren't really that much of a danger to you and they are actually beneficial to have in your yard. Um, but I do get calls. Sometimes they'll get in a house, garage, pool screen, and people just can't seem to get them out of there. And there are some people with some pretty bad phobias. Uh, so I'll go out and catch them for them if I can. Usually by the time I get out to the job, the snake's usually gone. Uh, but again, this time of year where that breeding's going on, um, just like any other animal breeding time, uh, they get a little stupid and hang around longer than they should. So anyhow, if you guys uh, enjoy this video, please subscribe going to be doing a lot more species so make sure you hit the notification bell um, and that way you'll be notified when we get some new species videos out.